All right, next problem. There are 40 boys and girls in the robotics club. Three eighths of the club members are girls. How many more boys than girls are there in the club? All right, so I'm going to show you well, two methods. So method number one, or what you can do. So one is the whole, the whole members of the club as a fraction, right? <clears throat> Minus three eighths, which are girls. Those are girls. Right, you get the rest of the fraction are boys. So five eighths of the club members are boys. Right? So we know we know our boys, we know girls. Five over eight minus three over eight, that gives you a difference, two over eight. That is the difference. How many more boys than the girls? In order to understand the part of the whole members, right? Yeah, you know that it's a fraction. You multiply, always multiply to the big number, the total uh, total number of members, 40 members, right? You do the math, you can do here, simplification, 1, 5, 10. So your answer is, there are 10 more boys than girls in the club. Now the second method, method 2, that we're going to check, right? So you can do your model drawing. You know that there are girls and there are boys. <clears throat> and uh, you calculate the units, right? So the girls, there are three units. And you calculate your boys. Sorry, I'm going to be pressing this all the time. <clears throat> gonna be five units, right? So they tell you, they ask you what is the difference if everything is 40 right so total is eight units and you can you, you see it from your fraction right so eight units eight units and you can see your eight units is 40 eight units is 40 okay so how much is one unit one unit is 40 divided by eight which is five if you want to understand the difference here, which is two units, two units is two times five, ten. You get the same answer. So the answer again, there are ten more boys and girls in the club. All right, next page, next problem. The mass of the pail is 2,490 gram when it is one fourth filled with sand. It has a mass of 9,240 gram when it's fully filled with sand. Find the mass of the pail when it's empty. All right. Now, I really like the whole point of the, all these problems is to pay attention on how to do your model drawing. So we basically first uh, we call it again. Oops. Sorry. Okay. So we have pale when it is when it is one fourth filled, and we have pale when it is full. When it is fully filled, right? And you draw your model. So this is your pale. Okay. So this is some kind of unknown block. And it has one over fourth units. Okay, so we know that this pale and this unit they give us two thousand four hundred ninety gram. Now we know that same pale and same unit, but now there are four of them, right? Full, full pale. All together, give us 9,240 gram. Now it's clear, right, that this thing, three quarters, is empty. So we want to know what are our three units. And we can clearly see that our three units is the difference between the pail when it's fully filled and between one quarter. So we just subtract 
9240-2490 is equal how much to your mass? 7, 7, uh, 6750 gram. So it is, what is one unit then? You just do your mass, you divide it <coughs> by 3 and you get 2250 gram. Right? So in order to know how much is the pail itself, we look back at this part, right? One, the pail with the one quarter of the sand is 2490 minus one unit, which is one quarter of the sand itself, gives us 240 gram. That's your answer. The mass of the pail when it's empty is 240 gram.